Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the law of total expected value. Let's suppose that x and y are jointly distributed with joint PDF f of x, y. Then, what we can do is we can note that the expected value, the fx of y, given that y is equal to little y of x and y, is given by the formula, it's the joint PDF over the marginal PDF, where here we recall that f y of y is the integral over the entire real line or the support of the distribution of f x y dx. So we integrate out all of the x values and we're only left with y values. Okay? Or we can say that this is the integral over the support of the random variable x of f of x y dx. And so now what we can do is we can say, let's consider then the expected value of x, given that y is equal to y, is by definition the integral over r of x times the conditional density function. So that would be x times f of x, y over f, y given y dx. And so what I'll do now is I'll compute the expected value of this. So this is a random variable. So this is a function of the random variable y. of little y. And so I can think of this as saying that the expected value of x given the random variable y, I can formally write this as the integral over r of x times f x y over f y y dx. We can think of it in this formulation. And so what I'll do now is I'll compute the expected value of this random variable with respect to the y variable. So if we do that, if we compute the expected value with respect to the y variable of the expected value of x given that y is equal to little y, then what this becomes is this becomes the integral over r of this function, the expected value of x given that y is equal to little y times f y of y, the, mar the marginal PDF of y. And so now what this becomes is becomes the integral over r. And then this expression over here, we can fill in its integral representation will be the integral over r of x times f of x y over f y y times f y y dx dy. And so now these f y y's will cancel out and we'll have the double integral over r over r of x times f of x, y. And then I have a dx, dy. But if we flip the order of dx and dy using Fubini's theorem, I can use, so we'll give you by Fubini's theorem. This is Fubini. I can write this as dy, dx. And when you integrate out the y variable, if we change these the inter integrals with respect to y now, this becomes the integral over r of x times when we integrate out the y, we get the marginal of x, so fx dx. And this is exactly the expected value of the random variable x. So we've proven the law of total expected value, which says that the expected value of x is the expected value of the conditional expected value of x given y. And so sometimes we'll see in textbooks that there's a subscript x over here to denote the fact that you're going to do an x expected value over here and then a y expected value over here. And this is the law of total expected value. 
in its very useful way of computing the expected value of a random variable x. Because if you wish to find the expected value of a random variable x, you can condition x on some other events that you know and use that conditional expected value to condition it one more time to find the expected value of x. Thank you very much.